We begin with that developing story, the police pursuit involving an SUV caught on security camera as it skidded on its side down Webster Avenue in the Bronx. And that is where CBS 2's Valerie Castro joins us now live. And Valerie, this all started with a robbery at a cell phone store. At Christina Maurice, this is the T-Mobile store that was robbed, and the employees there tell me that the suspects walked in, didn't say anything, and didn't show them any sort of weapon, just walked out with four cell phones. We showed the employees the surveillance video of the suspects later crashing their SUV. They say they probably got what they deserved. Sparks fly as an SUV skids down Webster Avenue, rolling over and eventually coming to a stop near 188th Street in the Fordham section of the Bronx. A few seconds later, this man, who was inside the SUV but climbed out of the wreckage, runs down the street. He puts his hands up, realizing he's been caught. Several officers tackle him to the ground. That's kind of karma to me. Yeah. It's karma because you did something you wasn't supposed to do, and now you thought you was going to get away with it, and now you end up in a crash like um, that. This woman works at the T-Mobile store on East Gun Hill Road in the Norwood section where the two men allegedly stole four cell phones before crashing the SUV during their getaway. She says they wore black masks over their faces. Police could be seen picking up ski masks at the crash scene. The mask covered them from here and you could just see their eyes. And then he just looks at me straight in the eyes, gives me eye contact, doesn't say nothing, stuffs the phone under his pocket and walks out. Another employee says the men were casual about the crime and didn't run away until they got outside. They were literally there for like a good few minutes trying to yank the phones out. Police say both men were taken into custody. Employees tell me the estimated value of those four cell phones stolen was about $3,300. Reporting live in the Norwood section of the Bronx, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.